boom shakalaka welcome back to the austin automate youtube channel where today i'm going to show you exactly how to have ai responding to your instagram dms now there's many reasons why you would do this maybe for recruiting maybe to generate leads answer frequently asked questions pre-qualify people but today i'm just going to show you how to get it set up using closebot and go high level. So let's just dive right in. So the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna be logged into your high level account and you're gonna wanna be logged into your Closebot account. And I would also recommend that you're logged into your Facebook account. Now the very first step is getting your Instagram integrated into your high level account. For those of you that don't have a high level account, I do have a free trial in the description below. The very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to integrate your Instagram into your high level account. And in order to do that, your Instagram has to be a business page and it has to be connected to a business Facebook page. I'm not going to get into the details of that, but if you go into your Instagram settings, it'll show you that there is an option to connect your Instagram to your Facebook page. Then you're going to want to go to high level. You're going to want to go to settings. You're going to want to go to integrations. Then you're going to want to hit connect. And then it's going to connect to a Facebook page. And then it's going to allow you to connect to whatever Instagram you've connected to that business Facebook page. That is step one of this entire process of getting AI to respond to your Instagram DMs. Now, I'm going to be using a nonprofit of mine called Michigan Sober Social. We're not super active on Instagram, but we do have about 10,000 people inside of the Facebook group. But I'm going to be using this Instagram page as an example of how I can get AI to respond to incoming inbound messages. After I have Instagram integrated into my Go High Level account, the next thing I want to do is go over to my close bot and I want to create a bot that is going to answer frequently asked questions for my Instagram page. And I, what I did is there are a few templates. I just choose a template and then I adjust it accordingly. So in general, I named uh, the label this the MSS Michigan Sober Social FAQ bot. We're going to name the bot Sam and you can have some response delays if you want. I'm just going to leave everything as is and then integrate. I do want to integrate it now into that high level account. And so if you are signed into high level, all I'm going to do is hit add new. Then because I'm signed in, it's going to ask me which sub account I want to select. I want to connect to. And so I'm going to say Michigan Sober Social and then I'm going to hit back and then boom. Now I am connected. And then next step I would go to is detect. I'm going to keep all of these off and then main. I want to train the bot a little bit on exactly what it's going to do. And so why is this conversation happening? People are messaging on Instagram and you are responding to frequently asked questions from business information. And then important business information, I trained it a little bit, keeping it super simple, trained it a little bit on Michigan Sober Social, their mission statement on what they do, and then how to respond and gave it some prompting there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the objectives and I'm going to keep this super, super simple. I'm going to set the objective to where answer any questions they ask and that's it. And I'm going to keep it there. We're just keeping this super, super simple. So now I have the bot created. I have it integrated into the account. I have the objective set. I don't really need to do a whole lot of follow-up or anything like that because it's just going to answer frequently asked questions. Once that is set up, I need to go back over here to high level. And the next step is creating my processing workflow, which is going to trigger the bot send the information over to Closebot, and then it's going to start responding in the DMs. And this is what the workflow looks like. So the trigger needs to be customer replied, replied channel, Instagram DM. And again, I'm keeping this super, super simple. There are some other ways to use this and make sure that the bot's not responding to every DM. But right now I'm setting it up to where if anybody messages my Instagram page that they're going to get a response from AI. So the first step is reply channel DM. And then we need to set up a webhook where it's going to ping uh, close bot to then start responding. Now this URL right here, I do have a quick start guide, a two minute quick start guide on how to get close bot and high level set up. Um, if you want this quick start guide, it takes two minutes to literally integrate and get things set up uh, with this workflow and everything. I have a quick start guide inside of uh, the description. And then if you do get your close bot account through me, I do have a hundred dollar off coupon for your first month. And like I said, it's this step-by-step -step guide, and there are some other bonuses. And this step-by-step -step guide is in the description below, but I'm going to need to copy this URL right here. And then I'm going to paste it right here. And then I'm going to hit save action and boom. Now everything is connected. So step one was get my Instagram account connected to high level. Step two 
was get the bot set up and the objective set up. Then three, get it connected inside of high level to where it's going to respond to messages. So now when I go over to my Instagram account and I go to the message section and I look at messages from myself, I'm going to send myself from my phone a message so that you can see, and I'm gonna keep my hands up so you see that it's not me typing. And I'm going to say, I have some questions. Can you help me? And I'm gonna keep my hands up so you can see. And then if I've set this up right, it triggered the wrong bot before. So we'll see if it's set up right this time. It says, sure, what do you need help with? Where do you host events? And then based on some of the information I trained it on, it says we host events in several locations across Michigan, including Grand Rapids, Grand Haven, Traverse City, Ada, and Rockford. Awesome. Can I bring my kids? Boom. Yes, you can definitely bring your kids. There's no age limit for our events. Excellent. Is there a place online where I can get more information? And boom. It sends over says, yes, you can find more information on our website at www.michigansobersocial.com. Awesome. Thank you for your help. And then boom, it's going to answer questions based on the information I trained it with. And it's that simple. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to, uh, to ask. Enjoy your day. And so just like that, it looks, no one's going to be able to tell this is a bot. It looks like someone's answering the questions and it's able to answer questions based on the information that I trained it with. So boom, that is step by step on how to get AI to respond to Instagram DMs and in, in a frequently asked question scenario using closed bot and high level. It's that simple. If you want my two minute setup guide, it is in the description below. You, it's step by step how to set it up. If you don't have a high level account, I do have a 14 day trial. If you don't have a closed bot account, also have a free account in the description. And if you get your high level account or your closed bot account through me, I do have some extra additional trainings and some stuff that I'm gonna give to you. And I'll even hop on a one-on-one -on -one call with you and help you get it set it up, set up step by step. Now, again, this is a scenario where it's just frequently asked questions. This could be used to do lead magnets. This could be used to recruit. This could be used to pre-qualify leads that are coming in through your DMs. Anything that happens over and over again, if you're tired of answering the same questions, this can help you you set that up. Please reach out if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing you in future trainings.